age 11. He is not even old enough to see R-rated movies, but our next guest has already won a local Emmy for his fine work as a weekly film critic on an upstate New York television station. His name is Jackson, or he is better known as Lights Camera Jackson, and he joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. So you do, do reviews for this uh, television station. Correct. But don't you also do some stuff for, like, Disney radio? Yeah, for the local radio Disney station. I also send podcasts and my reviews to them, do the website, and do the local television station. And how old are you? Station. You're 11? I am 11. We'll be 12 in August. 12 in August. You just finished sixth grade? Yes. Right? And you've how many years have you been doing this? I've been doing this starting with the radio Disney station for four and a half years. Four and a half years. So you have, like, got some serious experience well, out here, thank though, you. Right? Thank All you. Right. And now, do you remember, because I read that the, you first started going to movies, your parents would take you uh, to the drive-in when drive you were little, little, little? The drive-ins, really young, and went to the drive-ins. Drive-ins, I think, are great. Right. There are only about 800 left in the country, but I'm fortunate enough to have several where I live, uh -huh. and they are a really great experience. I love going with my friends and family sure. as well. Do you remember, what, what's the first movie you remember seeing and saying, that is amazing? I probably, when I was one, I went to Tarzan at the drive-ins. When I was in my mother's womb in 1998, I went to Mulan at the drive-ins. I started going <laughs> to the Don't tell me you remember that, though. <laughs> I started going to the regular theater when I was five. Okay, all right. Let's talk about some of the movie blockbusters that yes, are out there this the summer. Big ones. And I want to get your take on, first of all, the A-Team. The A-Team. Big budget action film. Really entertaining. A big roller coaster adventure. It's a bit difficult to follow who the bad guys are, but all you really need to know is that the A-Team are the good guys. Really fun, a lot of action, a lot of explosions, but there have been several bad action films recently, but sure. this one is really fun, really entertaining. This is really, you like this one? Then. Yes. Right. Now, are you old enough to remember there was a TV show there called The A-Team? There was a TV show back but you in never the saw 80s. It never saw it. Never saw it. Never saw it. All right. So, you, from everything I've heard you describe, you liked it very much. Yes. You have a very specific grading system. I do system, have a specific grading right? system. Right. What is the specific grade yes. you give the A-Team? On the official Kid Grid report card, the A-Team gets a B. A B. Yes. We're seeing in the theater. It's really fun, but not for the younger ones. Definitely no. not for the young uh, ones. Oh, okay. It's rated PG-13. All right. Well, let's move on to another movie mm. then. We've just done the A-Team. Let's go on to The Karate Kid. The Karate Kid. Interesting movie. A lot of fighting, a lot of bullying. But for this kid, Jaden Smith's character, I was very surprised by a lot of bullying. And the young kids won't get why this is occurring about the fighting. And they might even be scared by bullies sometime in their sure. life to but come. But bullies are kind of a fact of life, mm -hmm. you know, for kids in grade school, kids in middle school, for okay. sure. Right. Did you identify with any of this or at least see this kind of notion of bullying out there? I thought it was crazy what was happening in the movie. Very graphic. Right. And there also isn't enough of a positive message. The performances of Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan, they have good chemistry, right. but overall it's not very entertaining as well. Wow, wow. Coming down hard <laughs> on the remake of The Karate Kid. Yes. Let us look Hi -ya. at Lights Camera Jackson. Yes, on the official Kid Grip report card, The Karate Kid gets a C. Whoa. Yes, yeah, strictly a rental, but I don't even know if you really should rent this movie, yeah. even at all. Definitely not for the young ones as well. They won't like it. Wow. All right, last but not least. The big one. Just out in theaters. Just out. Number one movie in the country. Made a lot of money over the weekend, yes. over $100 million. And we're talking about Toy Story 3. Really fun, really entertaining. Um, it's really emotional, though. I got to tell you, being that they're putting this as the last of the series, Andy's going to college. What's he going to do with the toys? They get sent to a daycare center. Really emotional. I don't cry in movies, Harry, yeah. but I almost did for this one because really? you feel so attached to these characters over the last 15 years yes. that it's really hard to say goodbye. Because you clearly have seen number one a lot. And number two is a well. lot. Many, Loved many, them. many times over. The best movie of the year, Toy Story 3 is. Loved it. So good. So entertaining. Let's see it on the scale. On we want to see how it rates on the scale. Three, gets an Jackson's A, movie report the card. Best Whoa. Movie of the year. And I gotta tell you, it's what it's probably the best of the series because it's so emotional. It wraps it up so well. Uh, and they're gonna make a new Toy Story short for next year before Cars 2. Right. So this is not the last time we will be seeing these characters on the big screen. How about a hand really for lights ending. camera Jackson? Thank well you done. Very much. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Have good a great summer at Thank the movies. Thank you very much, Harry. Really fun. All right, Erica.
A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.